Now we're going to attack the far leg, the back leg, and right side versus right side setting. So, lead leg right, lead leg right. A lot of the times in this position, if we're even position, I want to lean into the arm because most of George's attacks are going to go soto, right? Soto, pyro, or rise, you might have gone in this direction. All the technique is going to be this way, right? So if I bring my chin over the hand and lean away from the technique, now it's going to neutralize a lot of his dominant attacks. Of course, it's not completely safe. This is society. I go like this and he goes side, right? That's sort of the direction he wants to go. That's why I say hand position is very important. Because if I'm winning here, right, if I'm leaning like this, even if he goes to side, he's not going to be able to bring my head down for the proper off balance with his hand really low. With his hand really high, it's going to be very easy for him to bring my head down for the society. Okay, so I always want a vantage position where my opponent's head on my lapel is down. Okay, leaning into the side, really, really dangerous for George because he's losing. Big turn throw, big uchimata, big osoto. He's desperately going to want to bring his chin over this hand, leaning away from the throw. Now, even though my hand position is better, he's leaning into this arm. It's not going to be so easy for me to finish my osoto or finish my turn. Okay, let's look at it from the other angle. 50 50. Down. Dominant. Almost completely dominant. I'm winning by a lot. George throws his chin over the hand. Really difficult for osoto. Oh man. Hard. Turn. Very difficult. Ochi kind of to side. Yeah, that's pretty good. But you're going to be leaning away from this hand, which is going to be a big, big pain in the butt. I can go for the dashi, but not really, right? So I'm going to go far leg for sort of back again, okay? I'm going to go bring the foot towards me, I'm going to block this leg, and then I'm going to drive him over this leg, okay? I'm going to drive my back leg and slide it across the mat while I bring my body toward that lead leg, and I'm going to elevate this elbow high. Okay, dominant position. George throws his chin over my hand. Okay, can I go to the side? Yes. Osoro, not so much. Right? Can I force it? Yeah, I can do that. No. Come in, come in, come in. Right? <laughs> that kind of a judo, right? Some people can get away with it. Right? But George is a little bit bigger than me, so it might be a little bit difficult. In this position, puts me not the right timing here. Osoro got me. Look, I don't really want to fuss around with this lead leg because of the direction where he's going. So I'm gonna go bring my foot towards me, block the outside foot. I could go high, I could slide down. I'm gonna block this foot, I'm gonna drive myself, slide my back leg towards me, and go toward that back, the far side leg. Right? And then I could take him over, right, bring my hand down, elevating that elbow, right? Of course, George is not a dumb bump, right? He's pretty smart, he's sophisticated, therefore now we have to think new levels, levels above to see how he's going to react to counter that, right? That's the game. He brings his hand over my chin. Ah, oh, no solo, no turn throw. I can go Sasai or Kosoro. I decide to go Kosoro, okay? If he does nothing, look, I drive down this way and I take him over this foot, right? Easy to know, very intuitive. George is not going to do that, he's just going to simply step back with this one. Boom! Okay? So now I'm in this position here, right? Not so much going on here. Not such a good position for him there. Bring my foot to me, and he's going to take a foot, his foot, and step over his leg. <laughs> Very easy, right? So can you put your foot behind my foot? Behind my foot, right? He's simply going to do this, okay? Nice, simple way. Very easy to escape the hip drive the weight away, and then recapture his foot. I'm going to anticipate this, and as he brings his foot up to clear my leg, I'm going to follow my foot upwards too, and keep my foot connected to the foot. I have one, two, three, whoops. Now I'm going to take him down. Okay? If you look at it from this angle, George has a foot on that side of my foot, right? As I'm trying to clear this leg, bring your leg up with me, whoops, catch it, and now, He's going to take me right over this foot because I, as a naive opponent, am expecting to shift my weight 
and plant my foot back on the mat. George sticks his foot up to win me, and I catch the bottom of my foot, on top of my foot, with the bottom of his foot. Okay? So that's sort of the Kosoro system. Right first to right, leaning away, step, step, slide, up. Right? Finish this way. Okay. The next installment. Up, down, weight comes off of this leg. Yash. Right? Then I can run. Take him down. Of course, this is timing oriented. And when you can go for these attacks, you yourself want to be able to be upright. So once you're capable of doing this, you can move, attack, sweep, cross, foot sweep, cut the leg, coach, circle, right? Attack more leg, right? While keeping up and keeping your balance upright and being in dominant position so that you're very, very much less likely to get taken off your feet because you have more control over your opponent than your opponent does you.